Hey, thanks, Grant. Hey, what's going on, Zach? Thanks for doing this today. Um, you guys obviously, you know, struggled to stop the run last week versus Mizzou. What were, are some of the things being preached to you guys in practice to maybe prevent what happened against Mizzou from happening um, this week? Um, right now, we're just practicing physical. Um, we really slowing stuff down so we know what we're doing and know what gaps we're supposed to hit. Linebackers, D-line, we all trying to be on the same page. Zach kind of asked some guys about this post game, but you guys obviously had a good opportunity to get bowl eligible last week. You still got two games in front of you. Just what's kind of been the mood in terms of keeping things in front of you this week and, and knowing that you guys still have a chance to get where you guys want to go? And how have you guys kind of taken to that with, with a couple of games left as well? Uh, we took it as like a challenge because we won a bowl game. And whatever we're going to do, we're going to try our best to get get that bowl game. Zach, looking back to last season, I mean, what do you remember going up against T.J. Finley? Obviously, he was with LSU, but what do you remember some of the challenges that he presented you guys in that game? Um, he got a pretty good arm, and he he can escape. He got a little, little speed on him, uh, but really just got to keep him in the pocket, uh, get him nervous, and hopefully he'll throw us on. Zach, I'm curious, how much of Auburn's offensive game film can you guys pull now that you know that the guy most that's taken most of the reps on that film won't be playing and it'll be a different guy at quarterback? Is there a lot of translation between what you've seen and versus what you guys anticipate seeing? Um, no, uh, we kind of just take it as like he is the next guy up and here's the things he do well. He got a few things he struggled with. But all in all, we're just trying to trying to get that win. Zach, at least defensively for you guys as a unit, I mean, maybe it hasn't been perfect, but you guys have had a pretty good season so far. I guess just what is it that you feel like you guys have done well this year to, to maybe, you know, at least from our end, maybe overachieve on expectations? And, and what do you feel like it is that you guys have done well to, to, you know, keep you guys in games and make some plays and kind of put you guys in, put you guys themselves in, in good positions? Um, we do really good t trying to force turnovers, like here and there, Cam, get a little pick, or Jalen, get a pick. Or you got the money picking it and Jalen forcing a fumble. When you got guys like that, you make it fun. And that's what we do well. We just got to just keep getting the ball off people. Zach, when you think back to last season when you guys would do good on good, what, what, what do you remember from going up against a Mike Bobo style offense? And what does that kind of entail as you guys get ready to play them this week? Um, we just got to be ready for the run, basically. Um, that's all he did it when he was here. He just ran the ball. That's mainly it was run the ball. Zach, you mentioned Damani. Obviously, he's a guy that maybe we wouldn't have expected to play a huge role this year, but with Sherrod down, he's, he's been a big piece. Just how have you guys seen him kind of take to that role and, and you know, make some big plays with you know, the East Carolina game, a couple others? But you know, how have you guys seen him kind of take to that role? Uh, he really stepped up. Um, when Sherrod Green went down, he was the next man. He took that role. He ran with it, never looked back. And that's one thing like, I'm happy for him. Hopefully, uh, he'll just keep it up. Um, because he's really, like, he came out of nowhere how he's playing, and I'm really happy for him. Zach, I know it was a long time ago. It probably feels even longer, but beating Auburn here at this here last year, can you guys take anything out of that going into this game, despite all the different circumstances? Um, right now, we just trying to worry about us right now and get our defense right so we can stop the run and get ready for Mike Bobo. A couple of things. I, I know uh, you've always helped kind of in the recruiting process of recruiting other, other kids. Did you interact at all with, with Tank Bigsby uh, when South Carolina was recruiting him? And, and also, what, what do you see from him? What, what makes him so difficult to, to tackle? Um, I, I think I ran into him a little bit. 
but it was hard for me because I was kind of like a freshman, so I didn't know nothing. Um, but he's he's doing like amazing. His footwork, um, he's shifty, he got great speed. Uh, his vision is amazing. He see one one little hole, he cut back, hit it up, and gashes. But that's one thing we're trying to prevent from him gashing us. Thank you. As a guy who's been around here a few years, you've got two games to get one win to be bowl eligible. So what's the feeling like amongst you guys, especially the older guys, about that desire and just how important it would be to uh, gain a bowl berth for this season? It's, it's one thing that we're trying to send our seniors and uh, older guys with is a bowl game and that's one thing that we're going to give them is a bowl game and I don't know what we're going to have to do we're going to put all our chips on the table and we're going to do it we're making sure we're going to a bowl game